the calves and there's two cows this morning. Oh buddies you've knocked your water over. Why you gotta do that? Why are you always knocking your water over? Good morning Wops. What's it doing? <laughs> hmm? Link. What you doing buddy? Hmm. All right ladies are you ready? We're gonna go back out in the backyard today. With all that rain. Finally got some grass to grow. The pigs are in their pool. <laughs> They're such a cute piggy couple. Alright, good morning. Good morning. We'll have breakfast in a little bit, okay? Zelly? Alright. Good morning, babies. Good morning, how are you? Goodness, hi Pips. It's been off almost a month since we've had them out in the backyard. So I have spider web like all over my face and arm and it's distracting. <laughs> We're getting the babies at this point. Oh, hey. 
no. Everybody's a little shuffled out here because of the cows leaving. We're gonna let Gobbles and uh, Princess finish up the hay that the cows left to do that. I have to move some things around so I don't end up with goats in my backyard. Gobbles has already found the hay and is in here eating, so we just have to round up Princess. Gobbles, oh no, this is Princess. Of course, it's Gobbles. Princess has chased me. You did, you chased me in. Let's get Gobbles. about like feed and mineral for the goats and what we do for nutrition. I think mineral is one of those things that like there's just not a ton of information out there on because there's not a ton of research. People basically have treated goats as if they're sheep and so a lot of the things that we know about goats and their nutrition comes from how we treat sheep but goats and sheep are different as far as minerals go. For a long time we bought the little small like eight pound bag of mana goat mineral. We only had a few goats that worked out really well. It's a loose mineral formulated just for goats. I knew that it would have everything that they needed in it in the right ratios. But when I got up to as many goats as I have now, it just wasn't practical because they could eat a bag of it a week and it's expensive. Good morning, pigs. Good morning. Is it taking mom way too long to feed you today? I had to wait for cows to leave or peak. mineral that goats need like calcium and phosphorus and iodine and magnesium if they're on pasture they generally get enough of those things unless you're like super deficient in your area so you need loose mineral for the things that they can't get out of forage copper is one of the things that it's almost impossible to get them enough copper and that's why copper bolus We've used mineral blocks before instead of the loose mineral, the, the mineral like cattle blocks. And our boys use the cattle blocks and we copper bolus because the cattle blocks really have all the same minerals that a goat needs in similar ratios, but they lack the amount of copper that goats need. And that's pretty much anything that's not formulated for goats. But even if you're feeding a goat mineral, Generally because most areas are so deficient in copper in the soil, it's just not something that's available. You have to copper bolus on top of your loose mineral.
gonna try letting them have this area today. They don't really wanna eat this grass, ferny weeds that's in their little pen. So I'm gonna let them out here to see if maybe there's something else they wanna eat. For goats, it's really important that calcium and phosphorus are at either a one-to-one. -one. So for every one part calcium, there's equal part phosphorus or between that and one to two. Good morning. When you get them, guys, they're eating wet food like nobody's business. And they're going through the kennel in this spot and going out. But it has not been a huge deal yet. And they're really just a week or two away um, from being weaned and me being able to kind of take Shadow and get her spayed and being able to go to their new homes. It took Waffles a minute to figure out that Link was out here. They'll like some time out of their little tiny pen. It'd be good for them to eat some things that are different. Come on, Wops, buddy. Where are you? Have some fun. So selenium is another thing that goats need. And most minerals have selenium, but if you're in a selenium deficient area, you also have to supplement with selenium, which is like Bozy shot a shot every year. Washington County is not selenium deficient, but the counties around us are. So we don't supplement our selenium, just our mineral is enough. But it's important for you to look at a map, and they have those, you can just type it into Google, your area, your state, and it'll be able to tell you. It's also, also something your vet should know if you're selenium deficient in your area or not. Calcium's another thing. Most minerals have calcium, again, with the calcium phosphorus ratio. Some dairy goats can get calcium deficient. It's a big part of feed too. It's why you feed dairy goats alfalfa because it's high in protein and calcium. Are you guys ready for milk today? Come on. That's basically what the information is that's out there for most of the extension offices is goats need mineral, watch your calcium to phosphorus ratio, copper, and selenium. The calcium phosphorus ratio so that you're helping prevent the urinary calculi. Goats need copper. You're probably not gonna get enough copper just out of your loose mineral. I would always copper bolus at least once a year. And then if you're selenium deficient in your area, then you'll need to give a selenium shot as well. Let's do it. The one other thing to know is that sheep and goats have different needs mineral wise and copper is the reason you can't give sheep mineral with copper in it. So if you buy like an all stock mineral, it's not gonna have copper in it at all or it's gonna be a really low amount. And goats really need a mineral, even if you're copper bolusing, that has a good copper content in it. Know that you can't put sheep on that kind of mineral because the copper toxicity will kill them. So if you have sheep and goats mixed together, then you probably need to use something that's appropriate for sheep and then supplement your goats separately. This is the mineral that we've used, and it's an Atwoods brand. It's the Ranch Pro Breeder Mineral. It has the same, not the exact same, but a very close ratio of minerals and content that the goat mineral has, that the small bag that Mana Pro Orange bag has. guys. 
guys have been so happy today to be out here. Hi, Patty girl. What you doing? I'm Dweebies. What do you two think? You're normally hollering for dinner right now. Hmm? Is it dinner time, Pepper? Is it dinner time? You have to go put your brother up first. Are you a little jealous? So I made the appointment for Toonie to go have her ultrasound on Monday. So for you guys, that means that video will probably be Thursday or Friday of next week. So look for that. You gotta come in, buddy. This way. Oh, silly boy. Well, buddy, what are you doing? Are you guys ready for dinner? I think Mama Cat is wanting to be out of this place now that the kitties have figured out how to get out. Okay, so you guys came up with some really awesome names. So this is what I've decided. Cheeto, I absolutely love that, that was hilarious. And he's kind of a chunk too. So it fits his personality. Dottie and Domino. So, we have Tiger and Cheeto, Dottie, Meatball and Domino. And I kind of like that both the boys have food names. Why do you, you're so funny. Mom doesn't have no sense. She doesn't, I'm sorry. Bottle, always bottle. I'm on Pet Pips. Oh, not Daisy. Okay. Oh, no big goats in the Oh, puppies, sorry. No bunnies. today's video if you did make sure to give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell so that you know every time we put out a new video especially because next week we're gonna take Tuni to get her ultrasound to see if she's pregnant and you don't want to miss that we love you guys we appreciate all the liking commenting and subscribing and we will see you in the next video